any questions? Well, the game's kind of plodding along there, 30 minutes in, and then all of a sudden you get a couple steals, and these two guys are really responsible for opening things up. There. Yeah, there's no question. It was uh, The game was kind of bogged down for us offensively. We couldn't really get out in the open floor. Um, we were down maybe four, five, right around there when Cadero got the steal and went in and got the the one layup and it, it, it jumps our because they you know they got the ball and we're down five and we weren't in a great rhythm but we finished the half 14 to 24 and I know at one point we were one for six on a stat sheet so we were 13 for our last 18 from the field we got it to the rim and um, and we made made jumpers which we've actually been doing I mean we we've been shooting the three really well in the league we were up at 36 percent coming into today we were like third fourth in the conference in three point shooting so uh, that showed up for us and it showed up for us down the stretch today uh, with some big ones. Coach, talk about X picking up those quick falls early and then obviously picking up the fourth. Um, and just talk about his play tonight. Well, I, I thought he played really well. He went in and gave us a good start. Um, he had a really good first half. He had five points, four rebounds in about nine minutes. Uh, but he got uh, the quick third foul uh, posting up uh, for having his hands down and then, uh, you know, got the quick fourth one. So he didn't get a great rhythm in the second half. I thought he really was a factor in the game for us. Uh, He's, he's got to uh, avoid a couple of those little ones, but he brings some physicality to our team that we desperately need. And sometimes you're going to foul when you're throwing your body around like that. And, and um, I, I thought he took great pride in protecting the rim. Um, the, the one foul that I hated was the first one after they already had the rebound. You know, that's the one that kills you. It's not the other ones with the bumps and stuff. It, it's that one because instead of, you know, it just changes the flow. He plays more minutes in the first half and also in the second half. But... Uh, he, he, he brings physicality, and that's that's what he does. And we need it. I mean, we need it uh, badly. Have you played that much zone this year in, in a game? No. Okay. Um, we have not. We've been pretty much man-to-man. -man, um, but what happened was we came out in man, and, and what Dan did was really smart. They uh, we, We've had great success against teams that have ball screened us. Um, and we've been really aggressive uh, guarding ball screens. And they got the two-slip. One, a dunk to start the game and got another, I don't know if he laid it in or dunked it, but they had two of them early. And um, and so we just felt like we wanted to give them a different look. We would not have stuck with zone had they made any shots at all. They just had, I mean, in the end, we did a good job getting out to Zeisloff and getting out to Hunter and, and, and Knight. Like we did uh, on the perimeter hustle and bump guys off and we were where we needed to be. But the reality is they didn't make any threes uh, to speak of, so you just sat with it. It wasn't our necessarily – we didn't come into the game saying, hey, let's zone him for 40 minutes or whatever. We played 37. But uh, it was working, and I didn't want to be reinventing the wheel down there. They actually scored a couple baskets on underneath out because we were man on under out. They threw it in and drove us and scored. So then we – you know, if you, you can't not count them. But against the zone, they didn't score a lot of points, and they did against us in man. Right.